Welcome back to the London Critics Circle Awards as we catch up with some worthy winners. And congratulations Thank on you your much. award. Thank you very much. Two great actors. You're representing Sir Lawrence Olivier as well in the film. So what was that like? You've both been accoladed. Well, it was a thrill. Um, he's somebody who has inspired me uh, hugely. And uh, uh, as I mentioned uh, in receiving the award, you know, he wrote to me when, uh, when I was 19 years old. I sent a letter saying, any advice on playing this particular part? And his advice was to have a bash and hope for the best, which is a kind of simple but very effective way of just saying you just got to do it and his career was an example of, of getting on and doing it uh, amazingly as a film star as a film director as a theater actor theater director and so his sort of his creative ambitions and his work rate were unbelievable but ultimately his talent was just rare so to revisit it to prepare to try and play him was a real pleasure Thank breakthrough you. for the through film of the yeah. year yeah it's really good it's very exciting yeah what's it, what's it feeling like it's good it's just weird you know you sit there and you think well, I'm not gonna win and then you do it and then you go up and you have to say something and then it's yeah it's amazing it's a really good feeling and, and was, was the film a labor of love for you to make uh, yeah it took like three years it was really hard to get funded and hard to get off the ground and so it took a while so it was good it's good that it's kind of out there and you know and is it important now that you've won the award, will this enable you then to, to sort of project yourself as a filmmaker and, and, and maybe get more funding for another film? Yeah, I think these things just really, really help. You know, you just, you know, just getting this kind of stuff just makes people kind of aware of you more than anything, so it's good. <laughs> Michael, can I just ask, Steve McQueen's been such an influence and he's really allowed you to explore the dexterity of as you as an actor. Can you tell us a little bit more? I don't know. Uh, dexterity. Uh, no, you know, it's just like he's very brave and he's very open and he's very honest and uh, he really sort of encourages it and, and, and demands that off everyone on set and so you know it's obvious you know Steve changed my life so I'm, I'm forever indebted. Gentlemen good. congratulations Thank on you. the film. How important is it um, for, for documentarians and, and filmmakers that documentaries are recognized in award ceremonies? I think it's really important. Um, I've made fiction films, this is my first documentary it's no easier, right? They're, they're as difficult as one another. In fact, it probably takes longer. It's harder to raise the finance. And so I think it's great that more and more people are recognizing documentaries. It's also historically something that the British have been doing for years, very good at it. And it's also, it's a medium for the big screen. And so if you put it in there with all the other awards, people, more people will make the films because they, I don't think it's a TV movie. We were not trying to make a TV movie. We wanted to make something for the cinema. And so it's great to be recognised for that. Hello, Hi. Craig. How, how are you are doing you? again? Good. Again, yeah, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah. No, you are a winner. Yeah, in a way, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, no, it's, it's cool, yeah. And it, does this now, having an award, give you the confidence to, to uh, um, as an actor to move forward and push forward with your career? I suppose so. I mean, yeah, I mean... It's really cool to know that you know people have seen what you've done and they like it and stuff. That's that's really cool. I mean, yeah, I'm happy. Especially when it's the, the critic circle as well. These are critics. The critics that, yeah, they're the ones that count, really, aren't they? Yeah, it's it's cool. It's awesome. And and submarine. What 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 did it mean to you to be a part of the film? Well, submarine was my first film, um, and so lucky to be a part of that. For that to be my first film, you know, it's such a great movie, and just a very lucky guy to be a part of it. And what have you got in the pipeline? Um, I have three movies to come out. Uh, two have gone to Sundance, one's going to Berlin. Um, yeah, I'm ha yeah, I'm happy with them. Hopefully they'll be good, yeah. And you've got a follow-up to Submarine? Yeah, Comes a Bright Day, which is like, I'm the lead in it, which is like my sort of thing. Yeah, it's, it's cool, it's cool. So, well, how wonderful. Yeah. British Actress of the Year. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Can you ever imagine that when you're on set and you're making the, fi when you're making the film, that it ever ends up to this? No, it, no, it doesn't. Uh, and I don't think you, you can think along those lines, you know. When I'm uh, working, I don't, I can't imagine anyone watching it at the end. It's almost a shame that, that it has to go into people's lives and, and they can like or dislike something. But um, in this case, it's, it's gone very well. And, and are the awards an opportunity, um, it's obviously a, a, ref, a reflection for you as well, really, of your own achievements and acknowledgements. You get so, so, so caught up in your own working life. Um, do, do the awards allow you to go, wow, actually I have achieved something? Uh, yeah, a bit, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really, there's no getting around the fact that it's, it feels really good. But tomorrow I'll be, you know, my kids will be you know, wanting breakfast and normal stuff and it'll all be back to normal. So tonight's really, really nice. What have you got in the pipeline uh, coming up? Um, uh, a film called Hyde Park on Hudson that we finished in the summer, which is uh, great with Bill Murray and Laura Linney and Olivia Williams and lovely, lovely people. Um, a really lovely film. So that's, it will be a 2012 some, at some point. 
And, uh, What's it like between working on Tyrannosaurus and, and um, the Iron Lady? I should get, I'll get my words out in a minute. <laughs> um, because they're two very different films in terms yeah. of budget. What was that like? Uh, completely different beasts. There's something beautiful about a, a lower budget film because you, you do feel like you're an, an integral part of it. You know each other. You, it's a small crew. Everybody knows everybody. It's, it's a team. And uh, it was beautiful being on uh, Iron Lady, but you feel like a smaller cog in a big machine, you know. Um, but it's still, the two things are wonderful to be able to compare. I feel very lucky. A testament to all the hard work and commitment. Uh, what's it like? I'm a bit overwhelmed, actually, because I guess, you know, best film category is all, you feel it's, it's maybe uh, films that are less challenging than Kevin. So the fact the critics have actually... Um, went out in a bit of a, of a limb there, I think it's really amazing. Because um, it's a tough, you know, movie, you know, so, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, it's quite divisive. So I think it's, I think this, I'm really pleased. I'm like, wow, it's great, you know. What was it that, that resonated with you when you first sort of, you must have read the book and then wanted to adapt it to a screenplay? What was it about the story? Well, it's just amazing. Well, first of all, it was a great, page turner it was like one of these novels you can read really quickly um you knew something bad had happened but yet you were still going towards this there was a force in the in the piece of work um and really that last taboo subject what if you a mother is meant to feel an instant love you know um mother is a state of grace and here was this character who you know really doesn't have that instant feeling doesn't have that instant emotion but also has a very very difficult child to love and they were very challenging um it was a challenging subject matter, but also was um, psychologically really interesting, and I tried to uh, to make it much, very much like a thriller and very much uh, something that was compelling rather than um, a social study. Let's say. Congratulations Thank as you. well. How do you feel about bringing um, silent film to a new generation of filmmaker of, of film um, uh, cinema goers? Uh, I think it's not just a silent movie. I think it's a, a love story and uh, a simple story and um, yes, you were no, I, I mean I, I I don't feel I don't see myself as a teacher or a historian of a, I try to make an entertaining movie and if people can be can fall in love with that format very specific format and that way of uh, telling a story that would be great but it wasn't my point my point was to uh, entertain and move people and um, in a special way.